Hey guys, Kevin with CB Reviews here, and this is a video about Shazam. Now, I'm not going to give a spoiler review, but I do want to put out five things that were big takeaways for me as far as the movie's concerned. This is going to be full of spoilers. If you have not seen the movie and you do not want to be spoiled, I'm sorry, but this video is not for you. However, if you have seen it and you just wanted to see how your recaps go along with mine, stay tuned. However, if you're in that camp that has no intention of watching the movie and you just want to know what happens, you can stick around, but uh, maybe give it a second chance as far as watching this movie. We are almost at the halfway point, guys. The 500 subscriber giveaway is right there. We are just, uh, I think, eight subscribers away, so if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and click that subscribe button. Once we hit 500, I'm going to give one lucky person a nice little prize package as a way of saying thank you for subscribing to the channel. I don't know what it's going to be yet, but I am going to a big convention here pretty soon, so you might get something from there. Also, if you want to know as soon as I post a video, click that notification bell. You will know as soon as I post a video. What I'm going to be doing is kind of giving a, not necessarily a play-by-play, -play, but things that I observe. Uh, and the further I go, the more spoilery they are. So if you uh, want to watch like the first three, that's perfectly fine. However, when we get to the last like two, you may want to pause or just get spoiled. Number one, Dr. Savannah's origin story. There have been some people that have kind of criticized it as being like one note or or this person holding a grudge for so long and, and I disagree as far as it being simplistic. I actually look at it as being something very deep rooted because he's got this older brother and he's got this dad who treat him like, I'm not gonna say garbage, but they definitely treat him like less than, and they do it on a constant basis. The very first scene, they're in a car driving somewhere, and, and his brother's picking on him, and he's trying to tell his dad, hey, could you please tell uh, my brother to stop picking on me? And he's like, why don't you just grow up and be a man? And so they're getting a little chuckle out of it. And then the wizard Shazam beckons him because they're like, you know, I choose you as champion. But then Shazam says, nope, you're not good enough. And so all of his life, the people that he's looked up to have told him, you're not good enough. And that's gonna mess up any child's mind. Whenever you have this uh, person that you're supposed to be looking up to as far as an old brother, and then as far as a father, and then as far as somebody who's saying, you could be my champion, but oh no, you're not good enough. That's gonna mess with any kid's mind. And that's not gonna be something that they just let go. Number two, the DCEU references. So if you weren't aware that this is a DC property, and if you weren't aware that this is in the same universe as DC movies that have come out recently, this movie is going to tell you. So uh, Freddy, who is one of the kids in the Foster family, is a big time superhero fan and he's got like a batarang and he's got a bullet that apparently bounced off of Superman and he's got, uh, he's got Aquaman shirts. So this kid is a super fan. We can see ourselves in him because I mean, we're we, we are in a comic book movie renaissance right now. It's in it's online. It's in TV. It's in movies. There used to be one comic book movie every two years, twenty years ago. Now there's one comic book movie every two weeks. <laughs> I mean, this one's Shazam. The next one is Hellboy, and then after that, we're talking about Avengers Endgame, and and then. Even then, you've got Batman versus the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I mean, they're everywhere. I mean, what's not to love if you are a super fan of this genre? And with Freddy, we can absolutely see ourselves in that character. There's just one problem with Freddy, and he kind of contradicts himself. Uh, and this is kind of jumping a little bit forward. After Billy gets his powers, he says, we can't tell anybody because if anybody finds out your secret identity, then, you know, they can come and hurt us or try to try to hurt you through us. But my dude, you posting YouTube videos like they're anonymous? No, they're getting millions of hits. They're going to find out who you are. So how about you lay off the social media and the YouTube if you try to keep a secret identity? Okay. Number three. 
the wizard Shazam's test for uh, a worthy champion is bogus. So, as we see in this movie, there have been several children that he's brought to uh, his sanctum to see if they're the champions. And when he does, he's like, I'm gonna give you all of these powers, but you need to be able to withstand the, the allure of the seven, the eye, which, which gives you the powers of the seven deadly sins and blah, yada, blah, blah, blah. Every single child failed this test. They're all good at heart. They may not be the most, you know, angelic people, but they're, they're all good people. And yet every single one fails. And so when Dr. Savannah shows up, takes the eye and takes the seven deadly sin powers, now he's got no way to administer the test. So here comes Billy. And he, of course, is given the power without taking the test. And as we have seen in the early parts where he steals a cop's lunch, that is not a person who would, uh, who would pass the test because of the uh, greed, uh, gluttony, <laughs> that's two right there. He wouldn't pass the test. And, and the only people that we see constantly throughout the movie that do pass the test are people who have been given the power of Shazam. So for him to expect a child to, to not take the cookie when you're like, oh, by the way, here's this plate of cookies. Don't touch that cookie. Hey, come on, wizard. That, that's messed up. You, the test was bogus. I know it's bogus. You know it's bogus. Everybody knows it's bogus. It's bogus all over. Number four. This is a big spoiler. I loved it. I didn't like it. I didn't enjoy it. I loved it. When the Shazam family showed up on screen, not just Billy, but Freddie and Mary and Darla and everybody gained the powers of Shazam and they're fighting in this amusement park. But I loved it, not just because it gave us that, uh, that well, it used to be the Marvel family, but now it's the Shazam family. <laughs> but we have this history of these characters, but you have so many major demographics that are being shown here. You've got uh, two women superheroes, one white and one black. You've got uh, Latino, you've got an Asian, you've got your standard Billy, and then you've got Freddy who is disabled. You really fall in love with these characters that you've seen as kids uh, through the beginning of this movie, and then they, and then they really turn into who they're meant to be because when it comes down to it every child that is good at heart is worthy of the powers of Shazam I mean am I right and number five we got to talk about villains but not the villains that we're fighting in this movie but the villains that are gonna be coming up in the next movie so we've got two main ones one of which was not featured in the movie uh, and one that was. The one that was is Mr. Mind, who is this evil, maniacal, Vesuvius worm that is smarter than every single human and and is just really a, a terrible being. I personally am not as familiar with the character as, as most uh, Shazam enthusiasts, but what I did look up from the character it, it looks like a big deal and the second thing we still haven't seen Black Adam we still haven't seen the rock in action <laughs> yes <laughs> Black Adam doing the <laughs> I'm sorry I'm sorry I'm looking forward to seeing the rock do something amazing as far as uh, fight sequences and things like that against Shazam it's <laughs> I don't know when it's gonna happen, but it needs to happen. So those are the five things that I really took away from Shazam, which is coming out in theaters on Thursday, April the 4th. Let me know if you guys are gonna watch it in the comment section down below. If you've already watched it, tell me how you liked it. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. And if you're new here, subscribe to the channel. Share this with your friends on Facebook and Twitter. And as always, this is Cameron with CBM Reviews. We'll see you next time.